Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. I am back. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. Welcome to September 1st, 2023. We're starting off September with a bang. So, Scorpios, we're going to tap in to see um, what's coming towards you guys uh, this weekend. So, this will be the first weekend in August. I know everyone is um, probably off from work for, uh, what is it, Labor Day on Monday? Kids are out of school, so what I'm going to do is do a reading for you guys from September the 1st, which is today, throughout September the 4th, okay? So we're going to see what's the full weekend into the holiday, what's the energy for the first few days of September. Hello, fall season. Guys, our season is coming up. Scorpios is coming soon within two more months, so... I'm thinking about doing something special for us, um... I have so many ideas in my head, guys. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but I'm going to come up with some ideas and I'm going to let you guys know. All right, so this is going to be a reading for September the 1st through September the 4th, okay? So it's going to be Friday through Monday through the holiday, okay? All right. Spirit, angels, and guys, I welcome you into this reading. Thank you for allowing us to see the month of September 2023. Oh, also, guys, make sure that you're doing your abundance uh, ritual, money rituals. Um, I actually posted it on, um, actually, I updated it as a short video where you blow in your sentiment through your door and say prayers and affirmations for the new month, okay? All right. Of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, guys, don't forget to um, check out my Scorpio merch, okay? Um, the link is down in my description. Take a look at my store. I have sweatshirts. I have regular shirts. I have coffee mugs, backpacks, hats, all different things. You guys make sure that you check that out as well as my candle shop. I do sell all 12 Zodiac signs. Okay. So along with angel numbers and spiritual um, candles as well. Okay. So make sure that you check that out. Okay. The link is also in the description. Um, keep in mind also final announcement here. I am open and available for reading. So I have a special that's going on. Uh, from August 31st through Sunday, where any readings, whether it's general or love reading, just only those two, they are $35. If you're interested, make sure you email me any questions that you may have, as well as sending your cash up. And my cash up is actually posted on my community board, okay? So general and love readings will be $35 from starting on yesterday through Sunday, okay? All right. All right. So that's all the announcements that I have so far. So let's get started. Spirit, angels, and guides, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio for September the 1st through September the 4th. What is the energy for this weekend into the holiday? What can Scorpios expect? What can Scorpios expect? The 1st through the 4th. Let me sage these cards because these are some new cards that I have. These are my Cosmic Cycle cards, okay? So let me sanitize these cards before we get started. Okay. Clear out the complete energy. I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening at the time that you catch this video. All right, I want to make sure I give a good aroma, clear out any energies. You know, you just don't know who had these cards before you while making them. So you got to make sure that the energy is clear. Okay. All right. So spirit, angels, and guys, show me what I need to see for September the 1st through September the 4th for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. All right. So we have the lover's card. Actually, let me turn on this light here so you guys can see. First card is the lovers. Okay. So I love the graphic on these cards is very artistic so this is the lover's card all right so gemini energy hmm. it's something to do with a relationship we have the queen of swords look how mean she looks on this card <laughs> so queen of swords is here hmm the lovers and queen of swords you could be dealing with a gemini or you may have gemini strong in your chart hmm the Lovers and Queen of Swords. For some reason, I feel as though 
there's something about a relationship that you feel like you may need to cut off or set some strong boundaries with. Hmm. There's going to be some type of communication this weekend where I feel like you're just going to be very direct, very honest and straightforward. This is a choice for others of you. This is a choice that you're making to set some, some boundaries. Almost, I'm hearing like putting your foot down with a particular person, place, or situation. And we have the Empress at the bottom of the deck, Three of Pentacles. So this may even be with a work situation. This can be with a family. Um, you could be setting rules for you and, you and your family or your relationship for you guys to get counseling, something like that. We have the Wheel of Fortune also. So it's like you're changing the dynamic. You're changing the energy. You're changing the spectrum of a situation because you are the mother, the wife, you know, Empress energy, this could be male or female. It's like you're trying to put your foot down to have peace, to have harmony. Yeah. All right. Tell me more. August. I'm about to say August, y'all. <laughs> September the 1st through September the 4th. Okay. What's this? Yeah. We have judgment here. Yeah. I feel like you're putting some rules. You're setting some strong boundaries on something or with someone. You make it, and whatever this rule or this conversation that you're having this weekend into the holidays, this is your final decision. And this is Scorpio energy with the judgment. Okay. <clears throat> we have magician here, Gemini. So, wow, strong Gemini energy here. Hmm, bottom of the deck, we have the Empress again, Three of Pentacles. It's something about working something out, coming together, building something as a team. Yeah, you're trying to change the dynamic. The Wheel of Fortune is here. So with the Magician here, hmm. On this card, he looks like a DJ. As you see, he looks like a, G a DJ with a crowd in the background. So, hmm. It's almost like, like I said, you're setting the tune and the tone for something with a particular energy. It's like you're making a final decision about something. You come. It's almost like I'm hearing someone is at a crossroads. You're making a choice. Whatever the choice is, is affecting you, your family, your relationship here. Hmm. Well, let's see. Tell me about lovers. Clarify the lovers. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it's something about coming together, working together. I feel like it's something to do with a relationship here. Maybe get counseling or something. We have the chariot, cancer energy. It's almost like, okay, I'm going to make a decision. This is how we're going to do things in order for us to be able to move forward. In order for me to, in order for us to be able to drive this car, we have to get things in order. It's something to do with a relationship. Building, working together as a team, stability, security in order to move forward. Again, the Empress is here. So I'm getting a lot of, I'm speaking to some ladies here. It's almost like you're making a choice to work together with something or someone. A family situation. You're trying to remain in your Empress energy. Loving, kind, humble, divine feminine energy. Hmm. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. It's like, you know, it's almost like you're making a decision to move forward with someone or something that you're trying to really, it's like you're trying to work something out. But I'm also getting here something about a third party with this three of pentacles. You may have a choice between two different people and you may decide to move on from a third party situation. Hold on, guys. Tell me more about this lover situation. Okay, we have the two of pentacles. Okay, so yeah, you have a choice between two different things, two different people. Nine of Pentacles, whatever the choice is, or whatever decision that you're coming up with, it seems like you're going to remain single. You just feel as though right now, it just maybe it's just better for me to be single. I don't want to have to juggle you, this person, my children, my finances, because I have a responsibility here. Yeah, Three of Swords. 33 is here. It's something about a choice that you're making with a lover. Or someone here has a choice between two different lovers because two of pentacles is here. 
you feel like you're juggling other things, other responsibility. Even if this is not an actual love situation, you may feel like you have a lot on your plate that you feel like you have to juggle your children, your relationship, balancing out your energy, doing your work. Hmm. It's almost like someone here is making a choice to move on. It's too much. It's kind of like it's a lot going on between you and a particular person or you just have a lot on your plate. And I feel like you're going to end up, this is going to push you to just be single, focus on your craft, your business, being self-sufficient. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. What is the Queen of Swords? Spirit, angels, and guides. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Gemini. What is the Queen of Swords? It's almost like you're making a choice to leave a particular lover or just leave a third-party situation. We have the hangman here, Pisces. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Oh, thank you. All right, so we have the Six of Wands here. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the Sun, Seven of Pentacles, the Hierophant. <clears throat> it just seems like you're cutting out something that you feel like you may be stuck in. Whatever this was, it brought something to light. You're seeing things in a different perspective where you see like you got to put your foot down. It's almost like I heard mean girl. Like it's almost like you feel like you have to be a mean girl, mean guy. Hmm. Tell me more, Queen of Swords. Okay. Five of Cups. Oh, wow. Sadness, depression. Hmm. Give me one more. I feel like it's going to hurt you to cut someone or something off. Hmm. Three. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Another three here. 333 three, three showed up. Something to do with friends, family, a lover. And it's like you're sad that all you can do is just think about the memories. Or you're sad about the choice that you're going to have to make to cut someone out of your life. Three is a crowd. 33 is here. Hmm. And it seems as though you're going to have to move forward and just let something go. Hmm. It's like you want freedom to express yourself. You want to be recognized for you you just you want the attention. Well, let me let me say it like this. It's almost like you don't want the attention. Even though you're in this energy of winning, you're in this winning season, you are this divine feminine, divine masculine, but it seems like you're going to have to let something or someone go. A third party situation, friends, a relationship. And you just rather be single. Hmm. I'm getting you guys are going to cut something out, cut someone off here and just move on with your life. You're releasing and letting go what no longer serves you. You're like being enlightened by what you're seeing, what you're experiencing. Hmm. Wow. Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups. It's almost like you feel as though someone here is just telling you what you want to hear, selling you a dream, sweet talking you, selling you some type of illusion here. Hmm. It's like you're letting go of a friendship, relationship, family. You don't really want to do it. You regret doing this. But it seems like this is something you're going to have to do. It's too much. Mm. What is judgment? Oh, excuse me. And of course, guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, so we have six of pentacles. 
Hmm. It's like you're making a decision to, you're surrendering, giving so much of yourself, sharing your time and energy with so many people. You're tired of being this giver. And because you are this empress that keeps coming out, the empress is a mother energy, divine feminine energy. This is a woman who has so much growth and abundance and prosperity in her energy. She's a chosen one. And it's like now I'm hearing like mean girl. You feeling like you have to be this mean girl, mean guy and just kind of cut off some things, make some changes in your life. Even though you don't want to do it, it makes you sad to do it. It's like you don't like people that like attention. And I feel like you're going to be recognized by the public on how stern you are, how serious you are, direct and straightforward that you are, that you're letting something go. You're moving forward. You focus on yourself. You don't want people around you that's like, I'm hearing groupie. Like you don't want a groupie energy around you. Someone who's piggybacking off of your success. Mm. Yeah, tell me about judgment. It's almost like you don't want the attention also. But I feel like you're in your winning season. Four of Cups here. It's like you're not trying to hear any apologies. It's like you're 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 cutting this out, people, places, and situations because it's like you're bored. You're discontent with the same old tune. You're tired. It's like a repetitive cycle. You're tired of that. You're tired of always being the giver, the one who's always open. It's like, damn, can someone do something for me? I'm tired of always being the giver. I'm tired of hearing apologies. I'm tired of you know, always extending my hand. And when you give me your cup, I don't want it because it's bullshit. It's not the energy that I gave you. 66 is here. 66 and 33. Tell me more about judgment. Oh, too many spirit. Yeah, it's almost like you're cutting out this groupy energy, these friends, family, you know, people who like attention. You regret possibly even dealing with these type of people. That's why it goes back to the lovers. Not only does that talk about love, it's also a choice. You know, you're choosing to move on. You're choosing to focus on work, your career. You got too many responsibilities that you have to do right now. You know, what is judgment? Thank you. Wow, we have 666 here, six of cups. These are people from your past that you feel like you got to just set some firm boundaries with. What they have to offer you, you don't want. Mm. People from your past, associates, friends, lovers from your past. You're making a judgment call about things that you put up with, things that you dealt with. People that you associate yourself with, even family. And we have the tower, Scorpio energy. It's like almost you're watching things burn to the ground or you just sat back and watch things fall apart in a family situation, a love situation. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, see there, seven of cups. You feel like all, all of this was an illusion. It all was an illusion. Hang on for one second, guys. Hang on one second. Okay, guys, I am here. All right. <clears throat> I am back. I am back, back. Okay. I'm a little chilly this morning, guys. I got my little blanket over me. <laughs> I got my little blanket over me. All right, let's get back into the reading. All right, Spirit, give me one more for judgment.
from September the 1st through September the 4th. Tell me more. What's going on within Scorpio's energy? Yeah, it's like you're making... It, it's, it's, this is almost giving me like a wake-up call that you guys are having about people, places, things, your past. People that you associated yourself with. You're cutting them out even though you don't want to. You know? Hmm. What is judgment? Oh, too many, Spirit. Too many. Give me one more for judgment. And of course, guys, as always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Thank you. Yeah, it's too much. Ten of Swords. It's too much to bear. It's too much to take on. You've been backstabbed and betrayed. Look at there. I love this card because it has messages on the side right here. And it says here, trash. You're just crazy. Shut up. Stop boring me. Stupid. And so ugly. You can't do anything. Why are you so lazy? Worthless. You will never get it. Look at that. Messages. Backstab. Betray. People talking shit to you. People putting you down. And this is why it's like, okay, you know what? It's like you came to a realization. I'm tired of giving positive energy to everyone. I'm tired of being the good girl. I'm tired of always being there, supporting, being generous to other people. It's like now, I don't even want your sympathy. I don't want your cup. It's like now you're recognizing everything I've done for you in the past. Everything I've put myself through. To make sure you were good. You were happy. And all you did was cell phone messages. You know, telling me I ain't shit. You know, I'm ugly. I'm stupid. Trying to put me down. So now you're making a decision to just end it all. Surrender it all. Yeah. It's like almost someone is tired of someone... Coming up off of their success. You know? Hmm. Yeah, nine of wands. It's time for you to protect yourself. You're standing up for yourself. You're blocking out these people. You're tired. I'm hearing someone here is tired. They fought a long journey here. What's the final message? The magician. Tell me about the magician. It's not that you don't want to be nice to others. You're just tired of groupy energy. People, you're going to have to cut off friends, family, lovers, people from your past. You're, you're just tired. You got too much on your plate. You just need to move forward. Seven of Wands, again, you're protecting yourself. You're protecting yourself against people who manipulated you, who lied to you. It's like now you're understanding that you have so much power it's like now you're trying to be more logical than emotional about things. You may have Gemini strong in your chart because I'm seeing Gemini here. You're being very logical, using all the tools and resources that you have to be a better person. You know, stand up to these people. Block out the naysayers. Block out the people who talk and shit, you know. People who are always in your business. You're like creating your own reality. Two of Cups. Hmm. You also may be protecting a particular friendship that you have. You may also be manifesting a new relationship, more positive energy, someone who's just like you, someone who's on the same vibration as you, nine of cups. You're manifesting happiness, joy, peace, emotional fulfillment, emotional contentment. You don't have to be a love. You just want a friend that you guys are on the same frequency, same page. Even if it is a lover, you're manifesting a lover that can be your soulmate. All right, what's the final message here? Too many spirit. These cards are still new, guys, so I'm breaking them in. They're kind of soft and slippery. What's the final message from September the 1st through September the 4th? All right, so we have here Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. It's like you want, I just heard, you want someone you can learn from. You want someone that's going to educate you, help you, you know? Wow. You're manifesting new opportunities, new beginnings. You're ready to put in that word. It's like, I'm here like you guys are ready to just start over from scratch. Protect your energy, protect your closest friends, a particular soulmate here. Because you're in your mind, I want happiness now. I want to feel successful. I want to win this time. My happiness is more important than anyone in my past, the naysayers. You know, 
I'm starting over from scratch, rebuilding my life, rebuilding my brand, rebuilding myself, putting in the work into myself, educating myself, possibly even going back to school. You know? Yeah. The sun. You just want to be happy. You just want to be happy right now. Want to be happy because you went through hell and back. Five of Pentacles. And now you're ready to close that door. The world card. You've been through the struggle, the hardships, the loneliness feeling, feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. You realize that you're by yourself. So you got to look out for yourself and close this chapter. Start something new. Follow your intuition with the moon card. Focus on your business, your career, whatever that you're starting. Your family, your children. Being a provider here. Yep, time for you to boss up. The emperor. Time for you to step into your power. Be more disciplined. Control your emotions. You know, with the king of cups, this is you. King to the queen of cups. See, you want someone that's on your level. You want someone that's just as high vibrational as you are. You want someone that understands the assignment. You want your divine counterpart, you know. Because you dealt with enough toxic energy, devilish energy, devil of people. People talking shit behind your back. People putting you down. You've been tied to a lot of toxic energies that you're trying to get rid of. Yep, the death card, you. You're ending that. Some of you guys may even be changing your looks. Changing your energy. Yeah. Because you're ready for good things to come your way. You're ready for this new adventure. And you're waiting. You're open and, open and waiting for the universe to bring you something new your way. Wow. This is beautiful. All right, Collective. This is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Comment down below. Check out all the links that's in my description box, including my tarot reading website. All right. And keep in mind that I'm opening available for the special of $35 for general and love readings all through the holidays. Okay. All right, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.